happy to it. He was born on the 2nd of the 11th, which is Kelly's birthday, 1988. Straight away, I had this vision, oh my goodness, this kid was born on Kelly's birthday. Wow, you know, it's going to be super cool. The 15 years old to 16 really growing into the man he is today, basically. I mean, that was a, it was kind of like a stepping stone for Geordie. Main focus was for him to represent South Africa. I think for me, just being from South Africa is just something I'm extremely proud of. I've really got to thank my family for that, you know, just kind of growing up here in Durban and then being involved in the surfing industry has really just molded and shaped the person that I am today. Jordy's played a big part in my life regarding shaping because I've always had him passing comments on, this is not working, Dad, you need to adjust this, you know, push the fins forward, do that. Well, my dad's been shaping for over 45 years, and so he's got so much experience for him to be able to relay that to me, and then vice versa for myself to be able to tell him what I'm feeling. I just love spending hours and hours in the factory, going over boards, um, just trying to, you know, make it two, three, four percent better every single time. He looked kind of alright. You see him standing there like brushing himself off? Really? Yeah. Oh, that was insane. Wild landscapes. She's like, so good. Yeah, look at that fucking shit, dude. Are you kidding? The mountain is holding up. Look up there. Oh, my God. It's my fault, but it's their fault for having a wall. Yeah, having Ian and Sully has just been insane. Just having them kind of surf and take them in and around the town and show them different cultures. I think the guys are pumped and um, yeah, just kind of show them a little bit of my life. Hey, bro, my ears are burning, Kazi. Come show me how to do it, eh? Yeah, I know, let's get it. The country is, it's massive. This, you know, there's so much golden land and opportunity and, and waves all the way along the coast. And we got a pretty cool little opportunity to catch up with Geordie and his family and sort of chase a few waves around.
the potential here is limitless of finding killer surf and uh you know if you're with jordy and graham and everyone around here you're going to be dialed into the best waves possible you're not slipping and surfing the wrong spot Loading up the cars, fucking getting on the road. It's definitely been a little bit of a struggle trying to find waves, you know, up and down the coasts. Um, as you know, with the ocean, there's just nothing you can guarantee. Yeah, the only thing left is just to kind of score some really good waves. Twenty, twenty-something hours later. It's real clean. Right? How nice offshore is this? Yeah. Shit, what's what's this thing growing. start bending on the inside? Yeah, that's gonna be going not so. Oh, missed, dude. Missed.com.
Scoring waves is pretty much one of the hardest things to do. I think we've really come on this trip with an open mind of not expecting too much and not having our expectations set too high. It's just to kind of take it every day as it comes and, and really just enjoy what's out there in, in that moment and uh, have fun with it. Stop and start these things to the first. I wonder if it's that way. I wonder if it's that. Are <laughs> oh, they there? Are they there? We should try and go there. Pack of rhinos. That's a little bit of a crash. A crash of rhinos. Come on, you said, hey.